Three Points Machine and Aerospace. Hi, I'm Blair Morrison. I'm Ben. How you ben? doing? So you got a P38 in your hand? Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. What is this? Uh, that's a model of a P38 aircraft. Okay. We actually made that in one of our milling machines. Did you want to see what it was made on? Sure. Okay. Show me around. We have a gooseneck assembly here. It's a uh, mechanical part that's used on the Dash 8 aircraft. So our intent here is to bring in this one here and we're going to use it for reverse engineering and we'll walk through the process of how we take this part and build it up to get a, a, a production model ready to deliver to a customer. Okay, yeah, okay. show me how to do it. We know that this is a primer okay. of some type, but we want to know what kind of metal is under here. It could be oh, aluminum, yeah, okay. it could be steel, it could be titanium. So we have a pretty good... get rid of all this primer then to figure that out. Yes, we do. Okay, and you're trying to get to the raw metal. Raw metal. So that you can figure out what kind of metal it is so that you can make replicas of it. Exactly. Okay. So, we have the raw uh, assembly here. here. Yeah, just set her down. And here we have an XRF analyzer, okay? Handheld device. And as I had said, it uh, shoots X-rays. You can see it's activated there now because the lights are flashing. That's uh, letting you know that it's shooting X-rays, okay? And then you can actually shoot it. And you can see that it's made of 7075 aluminum. And now we're going to go and develop a 3D model of this piece part. Okay. So how does this work, Chad? What we're going to do is we're going to put it in the table here. Okay. And it's, the camera will capture reference points. Okay. And it will uh, basically capture all the 3D images. So it's going to put it in the 3D image on the computer. So let's take one down a little farther down. And basically, it's just taking numerous pictures. From different angles and whatnot. Different now. angles. There you go. Okay. The stuff you just took right there. See how it shows the red? The red chunk, eh? The new shot, yep. And that's all you do. You just keep leapfrogging all around until you fill it all in. What's next? Next is engineering. We use uh, very high-end software to develop uh, tool paths that you're seeing here in the yellow. These are the paths that the tool will actually follow in order to cut the material off of the original stock. And once we develop our manufacturing process, we can bring it into a verification software and we can actually simulate what the cutting looks like. What you see here is a simulation of the tool running around the part, uh, removing the material. So this it's way I know... It's really cool looking. When I, bring, when I send this out to the, the machine, I, yep. I feel comfortable knowing that it's going to cut this exact shape and then the operator also feels comfortable with it too. The part initially starts as a 4x8 sheet of aluminum. And what we do with this is we put it on the water jet and we cut out the original stock shape, which is what you see right here. So this is what the sheet was, the shape we cut out, and this is the result. It's just amazing how the water jet can cut through that much aluminum. Yep. So this here is the water jet. Uh, this machine has dual heads that cut through the material using just water and a garnet, which is basically sand and it uses 90,000 PSI to cut through the material. And this is the router. This is where we do our first operation of cutting on this part. This looks familiar. Yes, it does, yeah. yep. So this is the exact replication of the 3D simulation that we saw earlier. Yep. Okay, here we go. So, this is what we started with. And then after the machining operation, we end up with this. So we have our finished features and our first finished operation. Okay. Now, this part will now go to another machine um, for another operation on the second side. The part will then go into a uh, measurement lab, and then that's where uh, Blair should be waiting for you to have a look at that machine. Uh, what we have done is we've made one. Uh, production run could be 50, 100. So we're going to uh, do a, a test on our first off. We call it a first off unit. Okay. We're not going to make 100 of them if we find if the first some... one is faulty. Exactly. Uh, number seven there is red. Yep. So it didn't pass. Failed. It, it didn't pass, yep. Uh, the code. It's not perfect right out of the gate, you know, so we'll have to refine it as we go along. So we've got the piece, it's all done, it's ready to go. Actually, we have to uh, prime it. Okay, right on. Parts on the table. And now we have a part that's ready to be sold to a customer. Fantastic. Okay, right on.
Yeah, well, thanks for showing me around. Yeah, no problem. I really appreciate it. My name's Ben. You're watching Next TV. Have a great day.